we're getting rolled all right. Not in the fun way. This is a steamroll. It's developed by Antico. It's on, done on the Unreal Engine 4, which is not necessarily a first, but it's a fairly rare occurrence these days to have an Unreal Engine 4 game cross our paths on the chair QA edition. You can pick it up for around uh, 12 of your 12 to 13 of your local sticky currency. What is it? In Steamroll, you are a young engineer on his first day of work and take control of the Scarabius. Scarabus? Scaramouch? Scaramouch? Will you do the Fandango? Uh, the greatest steam fuel vehicle invention while you try to survive in a crumbling mine and look for a way out. Steamroll is a puzzle game with a short touch of arcade action and adventure. Devs did send us some keys for this, so thanks a bunch for that. You get to suffer the chair QA session where we take a game, we look at it, we talk about it, maybe do a little quality assurance that the uh, devs should have done on it before pushing it out to production and give you a final score. One chair means that it's garbage, two chairs means it's meh, three chairs means it's pretty good, four chairs means it's awesome. We apply those to our categories. Oh, doom, make what's makes with the working shiny sounds, controls, and fun. So let us kick this off, Ven. I hear this thing is great about remembering your preferences. Hey, man, it is definitely 100% a thing. Over here on the um, Humboon 2 1610 box business, got a 980 in there running a Ryzen 7, but I also do have a UHD monitor running at 2160p, which this thing chugs at a solid 40 at, and you kind of get used to it because... Um, you can't really put it in windowed mode, even if you do it forgets. So I just uh, accepted my fate, man. Uh, screenshots, they don't work. Uh, it is on real engine. That's kind of neat. Uh, but yeah, I mean, not, not being able to remember the game's resolution and always defaulting to 3840 by 2160. It's kind of junk, man. Uh, when you mix that in with the screenshot, it's not working with the overlay. I mean, it does read like a checklist. What happens when you smash that export button, brah, and just ship your product? What about you, man? Yeah, I mean, Ken confirmed doesn't remember your graphical settings at all. I get a little, I get a little bit better performance than you in Intel land at UHD. I'm getting around 45 to 46 frames a second at UHD with everything on Epic. Because that's the other thing. It defaults to like the highest settings it can run at which is not necessarily something you want a game to do but anyways um there are a number of technical issues um but the those are more or less related to the gameplay so we'll talk about that in a later section on fedora 26 64 bit with the i7 6700k and the gtx 980 i'm gonna give it three chairs there's there's some problems it needs some time in the oven what about you baby mm. Yeah, I, I'm i usually the one who complains about games not remembering stuff, and it's usually like the controls, because that's the first thing I do when I start a new game. I go into the controls menu and I change them, uh, but more on that later. On this end, though, it did remember the two changes I made to the controls, so something with the graphical settings is not uh, working properly, but it defaulted to 1080p full screen on my end with the... Uh, Ubuntu 1604 with the GTX 1080 and the Ryzen 5 1600. So I didn't really see a reason to change it. And it held 60 all throughout what I played of it. So I can't really dig at a chair on my end. Four chairs. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that's uh, three chairs for mixed with the working. Now we move on to the shiny and sounds. Um, yeah, just because it's Unreal Engine 4 doesn't mean it automatically makes with the pretties. I mean, yeah, there are modern textures, they're detailed, they're lit, and the fancy new engine does a bunch of heavy lifting for you, and it looks presentable, but the end result is just kind of meh. Um, I mean, it's it's middling. It, you, you can't just use good graphics as an excuse to slack off on visual and auditory presentation. Speaking of auditory, it's not there's not really much there. I w there's nothing in the soundtrack that really stood out. All I remember hearing is the sss from all the steam. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it two chairs. It didn't really uh, didn't really do much for me. What about you, Pedro? Well, uh, I noticed a lot of texture pop in. In fact, I noticed it everywhere. Uh, did you just roll into a new room where the camera pans out to give you a big shot? Texture pop in. Did you just dock into one of the floor circles, not the orn kind of docking, and the camera again pans out to show you an entirely new section of the level? Pop in everywhere. Uh, yeah. Now, the t when the textures have loaded, they look good. The music, well, it's uh, exactly what you'd expect from a puzzle game. It's mild and offensive and completely suited to your standard elevator experience, which I guess it's a bit ironic that the first achievement you get is 
for blowing up an elevator. But eh, as far as I'm concerned, it could get three chairs. Well, if we're going to report on it over here, um, I think it's well done. You know, uh, I knew it was Unreal Engine 4, texture pop-in and all that. That's been a thing since Unreal Engine 3. Not seeing the pop-in as bad as Pedro was. It looks like an alright indie puzzle game. You know, it's a double so if you were into the whole steampunk thing when it was a relevant piece of kit, which it no longer is. Um, never tried the sound because it's a puzzle game. And the only way to play a puzzle game is with Slayer because Slayer gets puzzles done. I'll solve solid three on that. <laughs> Alright, well that's two chairs for Shiny and Sounds. Pedro is usually the stickler about control, so he can start this one off. Yeah, controls, they work. It works with the keyboard, it works with the Steam controller, uh, but the physics are a bit of a crapshoot, and controls are only so good as how you interact with your environment. And if the mechanics with which you're interacting aren't really there, then there's an issue. It's quite possible to be completely stuck and have to reload back to the nearest checkpoint uh, because the sh uh, little teeny tiny steam balls that you shoot, their trajectory is a crapshoot. Uh, I'm stuck on the fourth level because I can't seem to get the ball to go across the third pipe, which results in my ability to find the exact amount of power to shoot it for the trajectory to completely change. And it completely changes. It's, if you even so much as touch the scroll wheel, it goes haywire and goes to a completely different place. It doesn't even follow the exact same one that it had before. It's really annoying. Now, working controls are all well and good, but if the physics are trial and error, that doesn't really matter, does it? Two chairs for me. Ben? Over here, man, it worked out of the box with a steam controller, you know, and it gives you a flying spaghetti monster damn direct to nah, trajectory line English. Uh, so it doesn't need to be hella precise. This is something I was going to play with the controller anyway. I uh, can't say anything about the movement since it's kind of designed to be marble madness fuckery with you and all that. And it, it worked well enough. It That's a mechanic. Basically, camera is, however, just a bit shite. Going to say that, man. But, I mean, it's better than just passing. I was able to accomplish what I set out to do. So I'll give it a solid three on that. Oh, yeah, no, that camera is bad because all you can really do is change like you can get like a sweeping shot of the area, which isn't really useful because sometimes you just want to see how an area is laid out and doesn't really let you do that. Yeah, um, this uh, again, it might have been designed to be fucky, but that's not really a great excuse. So I actually got to level six before I just got tired of the game. Um, and yeah, the, 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 the trajectory line is kind of nice because at least you can sort of reliably uh aim your ball but like pedro mentioned it is on a fucking hair trigger um i, I remember spending I, I was like the second or third level i spent like a good 15 minutes just like trying to find the exact place that would allow me to do the exact ricochet i needed to go hit a button because i saw it once i shot it the game glitched and then i had to restart the level so Try, trying to recreate that was really, really, really painful. And I am not a fan of that. Um, there's also an issue I found where periodically it will just lock. Uh, I, I didn't try this with the controller at all because I just played. I just tapped the keyboard. Oh, hey, it does a thing. Um, but there is an issue where, uh, at least on separate X screens, I'm not sure if this happens uh, with like twin view or whatnot. If I accidentally move my mouse outside of the um, the range of the window and pull, pull it back in sometimes, but not always. It'll lock me to mouse movement, and I gotta right click if I want to get the wazed arrow key aiming back. There's there's some issues here. I'm gonna give that two chairs, mm -hmm. and that gives uh, the control segment uh, about two chairs. So to put a bow on it, Ven, did you have fun? I think what we have here is um, a half decent puzzle game. It's clunky, manageable interface. Uh, gotta admit that. Price to sell, twelve ninety nine. This is not the brand new game. It came back in 2016. We just always like to check out things that are on Unreal Engine 4, and this is one we missed. Uh, good graphics, mm -hmm. decent performance if you run it at 1080p. Got to give it that. Um, however, all those good things are kind of shot in the junk because you also have a Linux port that was not tested at UHD displays or multiple X 
sessions, um, well, X screens, whatever you want to call it, and not testing UHD support by 2018. I mean, this is something that should have went back and got addressed, man, even in 2016. Um, doesn't remember the screen resolutions. Uh, doesn't remember if you want to launch it in windowed mode. That's the thing. I mean, despite all that, managed to crawl my way to about the fourth map, chugging along at 45 FERPs at a time. Um, yeah, moral of the story is just developers, you know what? Please test your shite. That goes double. So if you're going to be using Unreal Engine 4, it's not busted. I didn't hate it. Too much needs to be fixed to give it a recommendation. But I'll say two chairs because it technically works. Uh, yeah, this is fucking mini golf, which is the bane of my goddamn existence. You can check out some of our golf with, golf with friends streams to just see a sampling of how much I love this style of game. Who boy, at least the game is nice enough to give you to let you know where your shot is going before you shoot. And it's relatively reliable. So that's the thing. And you know what? The game isn't actually that horrible. The puzzles aren't entirely horseshit. They require a modicum of thought, but they're not crazy difficult. It's just a matter of making the little steam cannon do what you want. And there's even, and there's even some variety. You can try and reduce the number of steps and resources you use to solve the puzzle to the bare minimum. And that, that is actually a little fun. Um, but the game really does have some issues though, and it would benefit from a lot more time in the oven and a lot more testing. So who made this freaking turd? Was it, um, Antico? Uh, yeah, Ant Antico, Antico, you need to spend a little more time queuing your game, and uh, may maybe you would have had something not necessarily worth three chairs, but the upper end of two. Yeah, now you just definitely. Get now, I like puzzle games, I do. It's uh, it's one of those genres that I can sit down and enjoy. It's not my favorite genre, but. Games like Steven's Sausage Roll prove that even the simplest concept can make for a really enjoyable experience with some motherfucking hard puzzles. Steamroll has an even higher potential of being awesome. The graphics look all right, if you don't mind the texture popping. Uh, the music is acceptable. The controls even work about as well as you can expect. But the nail in this physics puzzler is the uh, trial and error physics. There is no rhyme or reason uh, for why the aiming system sa says that the ball is going to go a certain way, and when you shoot it, it doesn't. I've had that happen more than once. Uh, when, why, at 76% uh, power, would it go exactly where you want it to? But even if you so much as look at your scroll wheel the wrong way, and it comes down to 75%, it goes completely off, and then you can never get right back to that exact point that the ball just goes and that's when it fucks up even more because sometimes the trajectory thing is completely inconsistent it's impossible to replicate a certain path that it shows you no matter how careful you are so for me it gets one chair interestingly enough i that to your last point pedro once I figured out what I needed to do, I never had a problem recreating specific shots. Mm -hmm. So I think I you're maybe just a little soft I, in the head. If, you, if you're looking at the video right now, you can see me try, desperately try. I did that the first go. <laughs> yeah, so, soft, soft in the head. So that's one chair for fun. Two chairs for total it means not sure if want. I would say um, maybe give this one a pass until they come up with some updates. I don't think uh, we'll be seeing any updates issues, from this. Fixing. This definitely looks like something that has uh, been updated. All oh, is it going to get, man? So, yeah, seems legit. Click export, one and done. Mm. 